A small plane crashed in Clay County and all three people aboard were killed. The National Transportation Safety Board is at the scene this evening trying to figure out what caused the plane to go down. It happened this morning in Middleburg off Violet Way at the end of Carter Spencer Road. And that's where News for Jacks reporter Scott Johnson joins us live. Scott, I know you spoke with a chief investigator about this crash. Just a few minutes ago, I did, Kent. They are looking at a lot of things like what the weather was like this morning, radar reports, all the details they can. We'll get a preliminary report in about 12 days or so, but it will not tell us the cause. I want to put on screen right now the type of plane this was. Just a small plane in this very remote rural airstrip at the very edge of Middleburg is where this happened. Right now, we do not know the IDs of the three people who died in this. And as of now, we still don't know what cause. NTSB officials arriving this afternoon to find out what caused this small plane to crash. It's hard to see in this video from Sky 4 because the crash happened in a very remote wooded area near Spencer Air Park, a small airstrip in the area near the border between Middleburg and Clay Hill that not everyone knows is there. And you didn't know there was an airfield back there? I never knew there was an airfield back here. How long have you lived out here? 58 years. Numerous residents say they heard something this morning, and there was even this post in the News for Clay County Facebook group. The kiddos were talking about seeing the plane go down on the way to school this morning. I heard a boom, but that's not uncommon because it can't blanding be in here, but that's all I really know. Do I haven't many, seen anything. Do many planes go in and out of there? A lot. This, do they do a lot of practice flying. Clay County Sheriff Michelle Cook gave us a quick briefing offering what few details she could because this started as an investigation from a different agency, the Florida Highway Patrol, and has since been handed off to the feds. It's not in anybody's yard. It's definitely in a wooded area. Um, and, and our deputies had to go through the woods and the fire department had to go through the woods to get to the wreckage. The NTSB tells me at this point no word on when this uh, plane will be removed. That will be up to the owner of the aircraft as well as the insurance company. Uh, so for now, it's staying put in the woods. And once again, it did not threaten any homes or neighborhoods. It was a remote crash. We are live in Clay County, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.